Professor uh, Anthony. Anthony, audience, audience, Anthony. Yay! Anthony, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a voice coach, Dr. Voice. Dr. Voice? <laughs> wow! You're actually uh, medically qualified. No, no, I, uh, oh, I you, diagnose you... voices, ah. but... But you call We've yourself Doctor... together before. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> when did we work together? Uh, Silver Road. Where the fuck is Silver Road? <laughs> in our studio where you worked. And what did we do? You were doing Strictly Come Dancing. Was I really? Yeah. Hang on a minute, is this appropriate that this man... <laughs> Dr. Voice Fix. has caught my cube? Fix! 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 Fix. Uh, Anthony, I'm so sorry. What about? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I don't think I need to be sorry, do I? You, no, you just don't remember me, that's all. That's what I'm sorry about. <laughs> uh, so, did I come to you because I needed my voice coaching? No, uh, you didn't come to me. You came to the studio and we spoke at the studio. What were you doing there? Uh, I was coaching voices there. Were you coaching my voice? No, but so we, we, did, we did talk about it. You were on a break, and we met. <laughs> was it romantic? What can I say? Was it? Was it romantic? No. I swear to God, this is the strangest conversation I've... <laughs> what are the chances of you catching the cube? I don't know. Is this somehow meant to be in some strange way? Meant to be, I think. I'm glad you've caught the cube. It's a good thing that Dr. Voice has caught the cube. <laughs> OK, Anthony, Dr. Voice, if I correctly guess who my guest is, do you know what you're going to win tonight? Go on. A year's supply of Wham Bars. <laughs> yes, those raspberry flavour chews with a lip-smacking, tongue-tingling kick of fizz. Wham Bars were actually created by Andrew Ridgely. <laughs> Andrew is currently living in Monaco and is married to Labby Sifri. <laughs> You ready to play, Anthony? Sorry? <laughs> Am I ready to play? It's the hearing. That's always been your fucking problem. <laughs> Taking money under false pretenses. <laughs> Telling people how to talk, you can't even fucking hear them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome tonight's blast from the past. <laughs> And for the benefit of the studio audience and the people at home, here's who my mystery guest actually is. Now, if you want to play along, cover your eyes like me, now. <laughs> Dr. Voice, can I look? Yes. You can look now. Start the clock. Have I seen you on my television screen? You have. Yes. In children's television? No. In drama? Comedy drama? Yes. Situation comedy? Yes. This was a big hit comedy from possibly when I was a lad? Yes. Did you star alongside Richard Briers? No. David Jason? No. Ronnie Barker? No. Uh, was this set at home? This was a domestic situation comedy? Yes. You were somebody's wife? No. <laughs> was this set in Liverpool? Yes. <laughs> were you in the Liverbirds? <laughs> no. Brett? Yes. <laughs> Shit! Shit! <laughs> well, I got it. I said Brett. I said Brett. I said Brett. Are you Freddie Boswell? <laughs> I was so close, Dr. Voice. <laughs> For the benefit of me and the people who covered their eyes and played along, who were you in bread? Lilo Lil. Oh! <laughs> Eileen Pollock, a.k.a. Lilo Lil from bread, everyone. <laughs> oh, Eileen. 
Sorry, Dr. Voice. Are you devastated? Yes! Thing, please. Eileen, can I tell you something? I have never met that man before. In my life. Still to come, Eamon Holmes and Faye Ripley will be popping in. See you then. Thanks, Eileen.